Uh, let me just move to the next question since we're running out of time. Would you like to get up and state your name and your question, please? Yes, uh, my name is Eric Evans. Um, my question is concerning the cap and trade at wanting the U.S. to get off of foreign oil. We have no uh, continental upscale in drilling or offshore drilling in shallow water. I mean, the lesson to me of the deep water oil spell is we couldn't reach it for three months because it was a mile below the ocean. Move in closer. If something happens, you can reach Your it. Your question is? Why is no one pushing for continental and uh, shallow water drilling? Because okay. we're still going to need the oil. Thank you. Mr. Renacy? Again, you heard my uh, response earlier. I'm for an all of the above energy policy, which would include American oil. All right? American oil, the nuclear, um, biofuels, all of those things. So I agree with you. We need to be able to work to make sure that our dependence on foreign oil is eliminated by using the resources we have here, clean coal, and all of the above nuclear. We can do it right here in America. We've got to be able to use our resources. Thank you. Mr. Ross? Uh, oil's a dead end. Uh, oil is the uh, fundamental reason where you just got uh, invested in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, I, I can't imagine we want to follow that much further down the road. Oil is something that uh, we can get rid of. Uh, for instance, right now, we could have a full battery operated uh, automobile industry in this country where you could drive cars in, they could be recharged, you could exchange at the reach, uh, exchange station, and it would cost no more than one uh, year of gasoline that we use. So there's plenty of opportunities for alternatives to oil. Uh, just drilling more holes is not going to solve that problem. Besides, it takes 10 years before the oil gets into the community, and, and the oil they drill does not come to America, it goes into the general oil pool. So we still import oil. It doesn't help solve anything to just drill more holes closer to the shore. Thank you, Mr. Blevins. Um, I think we could drill here. Uh, I think it would uh, not only add to the oil supply, but it would also create jobs. We could also uh, refine it here, uh, utilize it here, and reduce the cost uh, of gasoline. Uh, I think we do need to look at uh, nuclear energies. Uh, they've been done safely, and that is an option that will add additional energy sources to our uh, supply, uh, which would uh, reduce the overall cost of energies. And when we do that, uh, we can make, uh, uh, allow the consumers to decide which other energies they wish to uh, pursue. Um, I don't think the government, again, I don't think the government should dictate which energies we pursue as a nation. I think that the free market is dictated. And Mr. Butcher? Uh, let me just say, I, I voted against our leadership in Washington when they wanted to put a moratorium on uh, offshore drilling. I think all our energy needs to need to be on the table, first of all. Secondly, here are the facts. We import 66% of our oil from overseas. 40% comes from the Middle East alone. And the single largest user of energy in the United States is the Department of Defense. And while we can fight and talk about this in Washington, we have not had a comprehensive energy plan in the United States. And the military is not going to wait for us. They're already flying tanker airplanes, testing them at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio. Uh, using synthetic fuel, which is a derivative of coal. They're also flying uh, fighters on vegetable oil. And if we put 27% of the vehicles on the road were gas electric hybrids, like the Toyota Prius or the Ford Escape, we would end our dependency on foreign oil. But we've got to do the research here. We can't get to all that, that the energy that's under the ground, the, you know, the Marcella shales and everything, unless we, we research how to tap that into an energy source, a viable energy source, and implement that broad scale. If we don't do the research, can't wait for the big oil companies in China to do it for us. Thank you. So this concludes Candidates Night for 2010. I'm sorry we've run out of time. We would like to thank the University of Akron and Wayne College, especially Debbie Uniac. I'd like to recognize the organizers from the League of Women Voters, Pat Miles and Michelle Flory in the back, for organizing this whole event. The Daily Record, the Worcester Weekly, Clear Picture, the American Association of University Women, for providing the refreshments. Maybach Ford for our um, band today and our many volunteers and student leaders, as well as Alexander Davis, the president or the president of the League of Women Voters of Wayne County. This evening's forum is going to be rebroadcast on